it's still dark and we're up and we're on a mission. We have our coffee t-shirts on. Let me see. Coffee! And... Oh, there you go, there's mine. And I'll tell you what we're gonna be doing. Right, I'll just put the window up so that I can talk to you. So it's still dark outside. It's um, just gone quarter to seven. Oh, that's red. Um, Oh, <laughs> and um, we are on our way to the Holy Grain coffee shop because of the because our Gilmore Girls obsession knows no bounds. Um, there's a school bus there. The kids are off to school, and um, so we're going to go and get some free Luke's Diner coffee. This is oh crazy. <laughs> we, what time did we get here? About yeah, quarter, quarter to seven. seven. And what time is it now? About. Oh, it's like, it's like 8.30 now. It's, yeah, it's about half past eight. And clearly there are still like a ton of people just arriving and joining the queue. Um, the coffee shop didn't open till seven. So we were here before it opened. But I mean, you saw, even when we got here, there was like, yeah, we were. Even when we got here, there was still a massive line. So it goes all the way back down to here. Which is actually further than it was when we joined it. And it's been open an hour and a half. So 
Oh, that was mental, but it was worth it. Because we got, <laughs> we got the free yeah, coffee. The best coffee I've ever had <laughs> I think what we're going to do now is it was like really crowded in there as you saw so I think we're gonna um, drive by Whole Foods because it's quite close not too far anyway um, and just pick up some breakfast off there and take it back to the hotel <sighs> and we're heading into Universal today into the parks to have a little bit of a play around in there so yes They're selling hay bales today. They certainly are. It's all about the pumpkins right now. Um, uh, it's a like English muffin with egg and bacon or egg and ham I think some potatoes and yeah, you've got quite similar haven't you put some bacon in there as well oops and I'm destroying the place as well we are at the islands of adventure you can see Hogwarts castle there's the Hulk bag up and running the last time we were here it wasn't so it's really hot as well today um, and they reckon Hurricane Matthews on its way it might pass by us and we might feel like a bit of the effects of that over the next couple of days but at the moment you wouldn't think so because it's boiling boiling hot and we're just gonna see what we can get done and see how the weather holds up so I don't know whether first we might go to possibly I'm thinking Kong because we haven't done Kong yet it wasn't open when we were here in May or whether we might do Hulk so we'll see Okay, immediate reactions. Um, it was good. Okay, my main reaction. 
reaction is though, if I hadn't already been to Hollywood, it would have been more impressive because a large chunk of it is very similar to the Backlot tour. Um, but really good, not very long, it didn't feel very long, no. even though I've heard the hype that it's quite long. Um, and the Kong animatronic was really good. Yeah. Opinion. Dave? David P scale. David P scale? It's pretty good, yeah. Uh, I think it's probably a 7 out of 10. Oh, 7 what? out of 10. That's alright. What's a 10? There is a bin journey to 10. Oh, is it? Okay. Okay. And this is what I thought. I thought, I mean, I haven't, I haven't seen. I haven't seen the um, Hollywood one at the Back Lot tour. Um, so for me, it was all completely new and I thought it was really, really good. Um, I think the. That was pretty good. Yeah, it was. A, actually, it was a lot more like bumpy and all that than I thought it was going to be. I thought it would be just kind of a drive through and then like you saw the screens and it, it but it was a lot more kind of interactive I think than I expected. So yeah, I thought it was really good. Um, so definitely if you come in, you got to do Kong. It's excellent. Loved it. Loved it. And I think now we're going to head into, where are we going now? Uh, like in character. Oh, yeah? Hey, sure Hogsmeade. Hogsmeade. Yeah, we'll go to Hogsmeade and we'll maybe jump on the bin journey and then, I don't know, we'll see We'll see how the fancy takes, I'll say. Play it by ear. So, this is where we're going to have lunch today in Mythos Restaurant in the Islands of Adventure Park. It's like a Mediterranean slash Greek themed restaurant and just won lots of awards for its food so yeah, we've not been here before so we're going to give it a try. us to have lunch um, we've never been in here before and I mean some of the guys have but, but we haven't hello and we've been joined by um, Anjali uh, and obviously all of us guys are still here so we're just having a, a look at the menu Oops. Um, yeah so I'll let you know what we choose and I think we might push the boat and have a, a drink as well um, Dave examining the drinks menu. Some cocktails. So we're just in. Is it mythos? Mythos. 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 Uh, anyway, and they have butter with the Universal logo on it. Wow. Okay, and now Dad's gonna destroy it. Destroy it. Go on. Get stuck in. And we got nice bread uh, and well I'll just show you the food when it comes. Me and Angelique have had Thai. I've got it with chicken and shrimp, but she's just got chicken. Mom, what do you have? What do you have? Um, she's dissecting chicken because BLT. she can never just have anything as it is. Dad, what have you got again? And Andy has what did I'm you get? Sorry. My falafel looks like it is a waffle. A waffle. waffle a bag. The carnage. <laughs> We're gonna push on now.
Look, Angelique wore this shirt and she didn't tell me she was wearing it, so I didn't wear mine. Um, what are you gonna do? People are gonna stab you in the back throughout your whole life, so. <laughs> yeah. So we just ate at Mythos. Mythos. It was nice. We had the pad thai, it was very good. And now we're gonna do. Um, what we're gonna try and do? I don't know. Spider Man. And we're gonna walk out of islands and walk along to studios so we can take some pictures of the Toothsome Chocolate Factory. That's not the name. That's not the name. Toothsome Chocolate Emporium and Savory Feast Kitchen. Soz. Willy Wonka. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. Oh, is this new? This door. Remember that door being there? It's just the door. I will say this camera is rather heavy compared to that other one. I'm gonna have muscles. Oh. I was just like a boot. <laughs> like a muscle. I think it's absolutely ages since we've walked through here. Yeah, probably did. I think it's like two years since we walked through no. here. I bet it is. I bet it is. It's a long time. Um, we normally just go the other way. And then we get the train through the Hogwarts Express. But it's a long time since we've actually walked through this way. Oh, there's Angelique. Hey. Waiting for her. <laughs> Showing in the tiny door. I like it here though, it's so yeah. colourful. Yeah. I bet if you've got kids, it, they'll love it. <laughs> oh, it smells lovely walking past there. You can smell all the sweets. Yum. If we weren't so full. Couple of trees. Here's some apothecary. 
curry jars with some sweets in and also there are boxes of chocolates here there we go and also see how gorgeous is this So long, I mean, really, this. There you go, there they're all making stuff. All oh, those strawberries. Angelique, was it you who wanted eclairs? Do you want me to Oh no, oh no. Oh, you broke it in. Oh, no. <laughs> Flights. Chocolate cherry meal. That's what you're looking for, isn't it? Macadamia chocolate cherry. How much are the whiskies? Doesn't have a price. It will hit you. So, um, we're just in the car now. Um, I might put some of the Snapchat footage in from our Target trip if if it's any good we'll see um, but basically we went to Target and because it's the zombie apocalypse like everything was crazy have we even said about the weather? Um, I think so okay yeah. I don't know whether we said but basically there is a potential hurricane coming this way. Looks like it is. There is a hurricane um, but it might miss up. Basically everyone's like buying everything. There was nothing in Target. There was like no water and stuff. It was ridiculous. Um, so then we went to Total Wine obviously to get um, the necessities and <laughs> they had water there so jokes on you people in Target because we got some. Um, yeah so we're just gonna go. We're gonna get drive through Wendy's on the way back and just chill because obviously we were up really early going to Luke's diner so it's been like the longest day ever um, I just want to have a shower and stuff so I guess we'll just catch up later not sure what's, what we'll be doing tonight probably not much so we're back in the hotel room now and we've got um, an update, a hurricane update for you. Uh, we've got the TV on there and we're just watching the um, updates, the weather channel. It's the weather channel? It's like your dedicated weather channel. Mm -hmm. um, they're saying that Orlando are in a hurricane warning at the moment. Um, and they think from like midday tomorrow, it's what time is it now? 8.30 p.m. And um, from midday tomorrow for like 24 hours, that that's going to be like the main prob problem, <laughs> problem time. Um, so we're just going to kind of wait and see what happens. I mean, I think things can be quite unpredictable when it comes to weather and hurricanes so you know they think that it's probably gonna be um hitting us i mean it's not gonna be it looks as bad as some areas have been like so like barbados or somewhere like that where is it that's been bahamas. really bad bahamas yeah i knew something would be 
Um, the Bahamas have been particularly bad. Um, but here, mate, it's not going to be as bad as that. But we're not really sure. But we've um, we went to um, Target to get some some food and stuff in just in case and everyone else had the same idea and the shelves were all empty and was um crazy but we managed to grab some water we had some in anyway but we got a bit more just we'll see what happens so i think we're gonna call it a night now and um we're just kind of waiting to see what happens and how things progress over the next few hours and overnight um i mean we had intended on going to um, Halloween Horror Nights tomorrow night but we're thinking if like things kick off then the park's not going to be open anyway so we'll wait and see what happens and hopefully by like midday on Friday things have will have settled down but we will keep you up to date and like I say we're going to sign off now so we'll see you tomorrow <laughs>